Hi pretties, welcome back to Pretty Incorporated. We are loving on ourselves and shining our light on the world as everyday women. I am Germany and on today I am bringing you all this soft glam makeup look. I am sharing some of my tips about my skin and what I use and what I like to do to enhance my face. And this, this is like my everyday look. I love this. This is my signature look. This is my go-to for anything. Okay, It's quick, easy, and fast. And once you get to know your makeup and your skin, you can do it in 15 minutes too. But it took me a little longer. It's going to seem like a little long because I'm explaining but I promise it only take me like 15 minutes to do this on a daily basis so I hope you girls enjoy and let's get to the video my face and my skin and so we're just going to give to me just giving you some tips about makeup okay so starting out with our base you always want to put a primer on and you want your primer to be catered to your skin my skin is oily combination skin so that means I am oily in the center and I'm dry all around well I'm normal not dry but I'm normal all around so I like to use the elf matte putty primer and I like to put that on my T-zone here, here, and here. A little of my lip because my lip can get a little sweaty, and a little oily. And especially with wearing a mask now, you want to be able to do that. This is just going to mattify us, keep uh, control our oils in these areas, and everything. And then I'm going to use the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, um, just on the outside, on the outside areas. I actually love both of these. I use them on clients when I do makeup, and it works wonders for all skin. All skin. It's okay to kind of blend them together. And remember, hands are tools as well, ladies, especially when working on yourself. Sometimes I have to use it on my client, like if I want to warm up a product, but on yourself, it is good as well to just get in there and make sure your hands clean and use your hands. Um, I'm going to try something today. I'm going to use my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in Light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set my primer. This is going to be a first for me. So... Since it's light, I don't want it to be too dark and then it causes like, you know, discoloration and all that stuff. Right, next we're going to go in uh, and that's going to also help hold our oils as well by setting the primer. And then next I'm going to go in the Fenty Beauty. Um, hydrating foundation um, in the color 320 and I put it on the back of my hand just kind of warm it up let it get a little loose which is already loose this foundation is but and I don't use anything but like two pumps especially when you're just going for a day everyday look like a soft glam you won't you don't want to use a lot of product because you're not trying to really hide your skin. You're trying to enhance it just a little bit. And you still want some skin to peek through for it to look really natural. So please remember that with your skin. You want it to just peek through. You don't want to just, if you have things to cover, that's why you have other products. And we'll get into that in just a second. But if you don't have bad like skin or you feel like that is bad, you don't want to uh, load your face with foundation. You want to just put a light coverage on and I may need a third pump and that is okay because we want to get this side so I maybe need about four pumps let me say that I thought I'd get away with three but not on this side this side needs some more and you just want to pat and press pat and press is the goal when you're doing your foundation you want to make sure you get it burning down your neck and make sure you are pat and pressing in that foundation pat and press pat and press get it down on your neck so 
So that's that. So I lose like three and a half pumps on. So that's not bad. Okay, now say if you have like dark spots, things like that, you want to correct, you want to color correct them. So me, I have dark circles under my eyes, and so I'm gonna use a color correct. I've been using the LA Girl Pro Concealer all the time. Excuse me, and I love it. You just want to squeeze out a little bit, put a little bit on the back of your hand, get the brush really saturated with it. You don't need a lot. You just want to put it right where the dark circle is. Where your dark spots are. Anywhere you have dark spots. We as women tend to have hyperpigmentation around our mouth. But I'm not going to do it today because I'm not really worried about it. I'm just going to let it be. Do its thing. I'm just worried, more so worried about my eyes. So you want to take either your ring finger or your pinky to blend it out. Since it's under eye, you want to be as gentle as possible. You want to blend this out until it becomes like gray tone looking. That means that the cup, the corrector has gotten to where it's going to hide those dark spots once it has turned into like a gray tone color. It's still orange, but it has like, it is where it's like the orange has faded a little bit. Put it that way. Put it that way. The orange has faded, as you can see. So now we're good to go with that. And so next, being a combination oily skin for me, you want to try to do matte. Because if we highlight, oily skin can be wrinkle prone and that is not a good thing. So every product you want to use is a matte. Like with my found this fancy foundation, I also did the powder on there. We're going to set our face really well so that it can stay matte and not give us a wrinkle and make us look aging. So I'm going to use the NARS um custard and soft matte i love this i need to get a darker one go up like one shade uh i feel but i like this one due to my foundation is still dark so you want to just make sure you get on top of that orange corrector everywhere that you have placed it because you don't want to have that peeking through because that is not going to be cute and a little bit is good is enough like this get all those areas then you want to do down your nose just a little bit a little bit in there keep, keep this low area on the chin you want to have all those areas now another tip is you want to let that kind of sit on your face so it doesn't move so you remain matte and so it'll it'll have that full coverage so while we do while we're waiting for this to kind of sit we're going to move on to brows for me i like to use two brows i've been loving the l'oreal brow stylist pencil definer and light brunette and dark brunette so what i do is i take the dark brunette and i only use it to outline my brows because I want it to be defined, but I don't want the inside of it to be so dark. So once you have that line, it's easiest to go back in with a lighter one and fill it in. And you guys like, because I got my brows filled. I'm mean, having my brows done today. So a girl is feeling good. And she snipped me right in the front. See, I can't stand. You know, my girl used to be right, but she took a little bit off in the front, and I ain't feeling. That's all right. That's why we have what? You can feel it in your brows. So when it also comes to the tail end of my brow, I'm gonna use the this dark brunette because I like my tail end to be very defined and dark, and I don't like it to feel like there's gaps at the end. So you just want to fill that in and then we're going to like ombre it with the light brunette. And I just love this for my brows. So then now we're going to fill it in. Make sure y'all, so as you 
blend and brush you do your little strokes you brush the hairs as well okay so now we're doing our brows now we're gonna move back to our eyes and we're gonna blend out our concealer Okay, and so now before we set our face, I'm going to spray some setting spray. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime and Set 8 Hour Refresh. So we're going to set our face with this. Okay, now that we've let our setting spray set in, I'm just going to go on and pat our face a little bit just to get all that stuff set. In. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to take. Um, okay, I'm going to take Maybelline um, Shine Free Pride, Shine Free Powder in Medium, and I'm going to use that to set my under eye and set the overall face. Oily skin girls, it's really recommended that we set our face with um, setting powders and not set foundations. If not powders with foundations, because that would just make produce even more oil so I highly recommend that you set your face really really well with a good setting powder I love this Maybelline I've been using it for over seven eight years now and it is the go it is the goat I promise it is the goat now if you need to use a, a like powder foundation which definitely makes the skin look so flawless so airbrush um i highly recommend mac which we will use and that is sometimes just to help it will feel like you need to bring some color back to your face because you want to get one that's uh your skin tone exactly but this still look how soft and just filter it looks like girl what who you said what we who Girl, stop playing. Yeah, I remember what's his name? I mean, what's his name? Dang, what's his name? But I used to love them. Why are you asking all them questions? Asking all them questions. Assuming? Oh, love it. I forgot. I gotta figure out their name. Oh my god, it's so funny. If I can find it, I'm gonna put a clip in there for us. Because they are funny. They were funny. He's on Wild and Out now, too. I don't know if he's still on there. Or if he came back. I don't watch Wild and Out like that anymore. But yes. Alright, back to the makeup. So, we have set our base. Now I want to bring some life and some color back to us. So, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Bronzer in Medium. Juvia's Bronzer in Medium. Love it. I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques. What is this? Powder brush. And we're going to be doing... Um, which one I'm going to do? I'm going to do this second shade. No, matter of fact, we're gonna do the first shade and we're gonna do it on our cheeks to help bring some color, some definition back to us. Okay, back to us. Look at that. Ooh, snap. Girl, because we are what? Killing it, rocking it. I love a good face beat. Okay, love a good face beat. Okay, honey. Like, what? Girl, good faith beat has made me feel like a brand new girl. We ain't gonna say that word. But we feel like a brand new girl, okay? I don't have a forehead, but I still just brush, you know, a little bronzer at the top. None, none major. Nothing major. Nothing major. Okay, so we're good with that. We're gonna do a little bit on the nose. A little bit on the nose. And me, y'all, I still love makeup, but I love, like, natural. I want to get back into doing color, you know, trying to play around the color. But I probably won't play with color until spring, summertime. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be working on that. I know for right now, your girl just kind of do a little quick little something, something. We don't even have time to do the extra. So, I am going to now do blush. I am a dark tone 
blush girl i don't really like like i like this palette right here is the bomb though and i still i mixed it too but this is another one juvia's place bronzer uh palette in volume two and so i take the real techniques um real techniques also are great brushes for beginner people love them they are very they are on cheap too um they like they not cheap cheap but they cheaper than real regular brushes that you would get so they the best thing drugstore but i'm using the real technique blush brush and i'm going to just dab my brush into both of these tap it off hit those cheeks boom and boom a little light some nothing major we'll say nothing major and then i'm going with highlight this is the wet and wild highlighter in powder in rouge and I forgot the name of it. Again, our products will be down below. Y'all, I use the same stuff. I'm going to buy new makeup. I ain't going to lie. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Okay. Because maybe it ain't broke. These are signature. They make my skin look amazing. Hit your cupid's bow. And you want to just highlight where the high points of your face. Again, and me, y'all know I do it in the corner highlight. We definitely going to get into that after I go back into my my brows so I'm gonna take a little bit mm, I don't even want to do that okay cuz I also don't like doing concealer most of the time under my brows because I don't really like that halo brow look it's not real cute so I'm not gonna do it today cuz I wouldn't do it if it was just a regular my little soft glam everyday look but I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer palette and for like a little little contour and eyes I'm gonna be using that this shade right here and I'm going to just blend that back and forth in a windshield wiper motion real light nothing what major again nothing major okay nothing major just back for a little light little, little light wash that is all you need a little light wash ladies a little light wash of color and boom baby look like you took a whole 15 minutes on your house not yeah, so we don't want that. We're trying to be in and out quick and fast. This would take me, if I wasn't talking, this wouldn't take me number 15 minutes. We're like, do you need makeup every day? One, I don't do my makeup every day, but when I do, it don't take me 15 minutes. Once you've gotten down your face, once you know what you want your face to look like, once you have the products that you like, it's like boom, bam, bam. I know what I'm doing. Moving on to the next thing, okay? Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Here we go. Right now, I'm going to take my little brush, do my little in the corner highlight. This is just to open up our eyes and give us just a little bit of oomph in there. Just open them up, you know. Be like, ooh, girl, shining. Shining. Like, bam. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. I love a little in the corner highlight. For our lips, y'all know. My fave is a NYX Butter Gloss or what's her name? What's her name? Kaja Shots. All you gonna do for me when I do lip liner, I have to make sure my lips are dry because if I put some gloss or moisturizer, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna last. So you just gonna line it up, and my lips are already dry because it's the winter time. So honey, it is like screaming. Y'all, this is the face. This is the face. This is the face. Face. How y'all like it? Hey, little tips here and there. But you got to learn your face. That's the real thing. You got to learn your face. Okay, ladies? Learn your skin and learn what works for you. And now we'll be back to show y'all what I look like with some hair. Girl, with some hair. With some hair. Boom. Boom. All right, pretty. This is the final look. I hope you ladies enjoy. I hope you got some tips to help you in your makeup journey. This is just my soft day. I call this my soft glam everyday look. So yes, I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the pretty family because we're only getting bigger from here. And I will see you ladies in the next video.